Welcome back. Here we are with Spumoni again. Um, he is going to show us a trick. Well, it's actually more of a game, I guess I would call it, than a trick. Um, called the Muffin Tin Game. And this is a game that starts to teach the beginning of scent detection or teaching a dog to use his nose for information instead of relying on the person to tell him what to do. So well, the way this works is you just get a plain old um, muffin tin. You can get them very cheap at a used uh, type store, thrift store, or you can probably have some laying around. Um, and all you do is you take a couple treats. Come over here. Sit. Good. Wait. And you're just going to put the treats, a couple treats in here. They don't have to fill every cup, but you're just going to set them in there. Wait. Sit. Good boy. And you're just going to let the dog realize that there's food in there and that they can, they can, they can have it. Ready? Get it. Find the treats. Find it. Good boy. And of course, he loves this. This is a really <laughs> exciting adventure. You may have to hold the pan for them. Mm. Are you done? Okay, so he's going to make sure he gets every last crumb. As you can tell, he doesn't miss a lot of meals. Okay, so he's got, he cleaned that out pretty well. So the next step now is going to be to put a couple treats in there, and then we're just going to take some tennis balls and cover up some of the holes that have treats in and some that don't. We'll just start with the. All right, so we'll take a couple of treats and we'll put them in. There we go. So right now, one of the holes has um, an open treat, and the other two that I put treats in have um, tennis balls on top. So now the trick is for him to figure out how to get those treats. And you know, you think, well, my dog's going to just flip it over and, and just plow through it. And it's interesting that some dogs do, and some dogs actually think about getting the ball out with their nose or with their mouth or using a paw to kind of dig it out. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of strategy he uses to get the treats out from underneath the tennis balls. Are you ready? Okay, find it. Okay, so one treat down the hatch. Found the open one right away. Not going to waste any time with that. Okay, so now he's sniffing. Okay, so he's pushing that ball with his nose. Oh, got that one. And, oh, we're using the paw, the paw, and the paw is spinning the ball around, so it's not coming out with just the paw. Here, we'll move it down this way. Okay, find it. Find it. Find it. One thing I noticed about Spumoni when we started doing tricks is he likes to use his paws a lot. I think he got them all. Nope, there's one more little treat in here. Hey, find it. This is a little like a broken crumb. I don't know if he knows it's there. Get it. Get it. There we go. Oh, he gets kind of frustrated when it spins. But he's very much a paw dog. Some dogs are, are not very pawsy. He likes to use his paws a lot. Oh, he almost had that ball up, but right now it's just spinning in the cup, and that's kind of frustrating a little bit. Get it. Let's help him out. Right here. Get it. Get it. So he's going to tip the whole pan over. That's the strategy that he's going to use. <laughs> you get it? So now he's biting the pan. <laughs> Did you find it? You got it, didn't you? Did you get it out? Yeah, he snarfed it out from under the corner or, or the edge of the ball. So the next step then is to make it a little bit more challenging and um, we're going to put a few more treats in. Again, not every cup, but a few. And then this time We'll cover. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Not yet. 
will cover more of the, of the spaces, and then he'll have to really think about how to get this out of there. There, okay. So you could cover all of them if you wanted to. I just don't have enough tennis balls to do that right now. Are you ready? Come over here. Sit. Okay, find it. And the way this will be useful later <laughs> is when you are, we're going to be teaching them to look for a hidden uh, uh, piece of food under under a bucket, and there'll be buckets. You know, people will be able to see, like you can see this, and they'll have to use their nose to find that hidden tree. So this is just teaching them to start to use their nose to see where that treat might be. And there's, yeah, he got them all. So that's it. So that is the muffin tin game. And it's a great rainy day game or um, a game just to keep your dog entertained when you can't get outside and do a lot of physical activity. <laughs>